Hi, my name is Chloe Wallace, and I will be walking you through the interview today on September 20th, 22nd, 2020. Today, I have my partner with me, Haley Updike, who is also a student at TCC, who will be asking any follow-up questions if we miss anything in the interview. We'll be interviewing Shoni Lewis for the Global Oral History Oklahoma State Archive. Let's get right into it. How are you doing today, Shoni? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm great. So, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I do have siblings. I have that. I have nine siblings. Yeah, and uh, the there is uh, five girls and uh, four boys, and they were in the Philippines. Yeah. I'm sorry, your voice kind of far. Sorry, did you like having a lot of siblings growing up? Oh yeah, it's it's fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, how old are you? I am 24. Are you like in the middle of your siblings? I am. Um, I am the third from the oldest. Yeah. I grew up in the Philippines, in the province. Was it like a rural area or was it like more urban? It's a province. I think it's urban or rural. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a city? No, it's a province, like a small province. Is it rural? <laughs> attend high school in the Philippines? Yes, I do. Yeah. But I did not finish the whole high school. I just finished grade seven because I I take the test, which is, we call it uh, alternative learning system. It's, it's kind of, what is that here? I, I forgot what is called here. But it's kind of test that you can move on to college. Wow, that's really incredible. So what was your like experience in education in the Philippines besides getting that like early head start for college? Because I start high school, I was, I was old. <laughs> I was also, I, I, I don't wanna do like, I don't wanna continue like I'm getting old. And that's why I take that alternative learning system. It's kind of, I'm thinking that it's really good to take a, like the step-by-step -step high school because you can learn a lot of stuff. So that's, that's the one I want to do, but I choose to, to take the alternative learning system because it's, I'm ready to go college. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really impressive that you were able at like grade seven to go to college that's impressive okay if you could describe your hometown in one word what would it be um, quiet quiet yes so what was your like everyday life like back in your hometown because i live in kind of forest so we just go walk walk around but so, sometimes walk in the grass you know like looking for something for example we're looking for fruits and because there's a guava so we, we're just gonna climb the guava and then like uh papaya and you know sometimes we we plant corns rice and kind of vegetables that's what we love to do there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I kind of do something similar. I kind of live out in like the foresty area. Okay. Just walk around. Um, so why did you choose to go to TCC for college? Because it's the one who, who teach uh, ESL, which is English as a second language. This is the closer from my home here. That's why I choose the TCC. 
Yeah. How did you hear about TCC at first? At first, I was kind of nervous because I don't know about college here in United States. But I'm excited to to communicate with the teachers and the other to meet ad, uh, new students. So, what did you like about TCC, and like, kind of like, what do you not like too? I did not like. I mean, I I like. I like the teachers. I like the way they teach because I'm learning. I have nothing dislike about TCC. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad you like it so much. Yes, I do. Would you recommend TCC to anyone in the future? Yes, I recommend it. Awesome. Have you made any like friends outside of TCC? Yeah. Yes, like co co Filipinos. Yeah, they, they have. Uh, I I meet a lot. <laughs> That's awesome. So, what has it been like in your ESL class? What has it done in my ESL class? Yeah, like, what is do you like really like it? Is the work really hard? Are you learning really quickly? I don't think I'm learning very quickly because it's my second semester because when I start I was in intermediate level and now I move on to advanced one. It's kind of hard for me because I take, I took five classes, all five classes in speaking, reading, writing, grammar, and then listening. I took all of them. Sometimes there's a lot of homework to do. <laughs> So it's kind of hard to manage the five classes for me, but it's good and it's helping. I think it would be hard for anybody to manage five classes, but you're doing really well. You're great at speaking. Mm -hmm. um, so how important is education to you? Is it really important for me because I am planning to go to nursing school, so I needed really needed to to study especially the English because I needed to improve my English to go to nursing school because it's really important because you have to communicate with the uh, with the patients all people around there not just in the hospital but here around the United States it's really important okay so you said you were planning on Nursing school, like where do you want to go to nursing school at? I think it's TCC. Awesome. Yeah. So, what has it been like during, like in Tulsa during the pandemic, like at TCC? It's crazy <laughs> <laughs> because you know when I first start my TC my East L class in TCC, it's it's fun to go in the school like in person uh, compared to online it's kind of hard for me because I, I don't know it's it's just different it feels different it, I really like that person the most do you think it's been more difficult to like learn ESL? do you think it's been more difficult to learn ESL in the pandemic It's kind of a little bit difficult because it's online, but you can, you still can hear the teacher speaking, you, can, you still can see them, but, you know, I just like the person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think a lot of people like the in-person classes. So how is education different here and in the Philippines? Oh, the, because here it's kind of all the, all the teachers here are friendly, like um, compared in the Philippines, the teachers there are really strict, like you have to do your, like you have to do on time 
and then you can t tell them to like can i just uh pass it in the next day like for example the assignment or the test you need to do it in the next day you can do that there because they're gonna fail you if you did if you did that but here they're, they're so friendly i really like you because because like english and the there is you know different language <laughs> english i like language i english language because like I never use my my first my what is that my language in the Philippines. So English is the great uh, to study because you know <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, I, I kind of hard to explain for me. But I I really like the uh, education here the most uh, compared to the Philippines because I am learning my English. I you know. the major like food differences you see from in the Philippines and in here what is the what sorry like the major food differences like the kind of food we eat how is it different oh when I first came here it's really different because mostly Americans didn't didn't eat rice like in the Philippines when we go eat like lunch breakfast or dinner we usually eat with the rice and then a little a little piece of uh, meat or some kind of uh, vegetables every time we eat it comes to it comes with the rice together yeah there's a difference and the taste are different too <laughs> yeah there are a lot more like fast food in America than there is in Philippines. Yes. I thought so. Um, how do American holidays and Filipino holidays like differ? Uh, I, I'm going to give one example. For example, a uh, Christmas. Uh, Christmas here starts after the Souls Day, what is that, like November, <laughs> and in the Philippines, we start decorating like three months before Christmas or four months before Christmas, but here, yeah, yeah, they're gonna celebrate the Halloween first before putting some decoration for Christmas, and yeah, that's, that's kind of different. Some people do, but some people know. Are things more expensive in the U.S. In the, than in the Philippines, or is it more expensive in the Philippines? Yeah, if you're comparing the money, it's really expensive here compared to the Philippines. Because the money here, like uh, U.S. money, uh, equal like, 50 peso in the Philippines or something. Yeah, 50 peso. Yeah. So it's more expensive here than there because in the it's more it's a lot of tax here in the United States compared in the Philippines. Yeah. So what's kind of like what is the difference between like a Filipino community and like a community that you have in Tulsa? like in philippine community there is a like i never been to community in the philippines like a group of people but here i i join community here in tulsa like a filipino community here in tulsa uh that they are celebrating every every time has a holiday every holiday they celebrate some like go out together like a party but in the philippines they're just you know celebrating that for example uh they're planting from planting trees something like that and then go around feeding people something like that here just a party enjoying themselves So how is the 
architecture different here than in the Philippines? Architecture. So like the way buildings look. Something like that. Architecture, like the buildings or something. Yeah. Uh, because here, uh, like in the city, city in the Philippines, there's a, a tall buildings. Like here, you can barely see a building here. Like most most building here are flat. <laughs> like I was like, is that a building? When I came here, because my my husband said, my husband said, oh, that's the building. Because I thought first the building is tall, like taller. <laughs> like I was like, wow. <laughs> like the, a lot of uh, uh, like store to store here, like one floor. Like, and that, that's, that's kind of weird for me to see, like that's the building, <laughs> that's the building like one floor because we usually call building like here, there in Philippines, like a really tall building. And so just, yeah. So what's the difference in like electronics in here in the Philippines? Like, is there a big difference? Yeah. Because I grew up without electronic, like without cell phone. So I just have a cell phone when I was, when I was 16. Uh, so there is no electronic in school, like in elementary school in the Philippines where I grew up, which is the province. Uh, but here, like the electronics is like most kids have, uh, you know, cell phones, tablets, we're playing games. Like, for example, the electronic, the electricity here, like the thing, what is that, that like the, I don't know how to pronounce, how to say that, but that the electricity there, like the, like the wire, the wire outside, like there's a, yeah. like here it's really clear, like you cannot see the wire like all over the, <laughs> the houses, <laughs> something like that. Here, like because here they put it in the ground instead of up like in the air. There's like when you go to the Philippines, there's a lot of wire in the street. Yeah, like go like down, I was like going to the house. Yeah, that's like, like here we have like telephone wires that like stick up out of the ground so they could like connect to the houses in the Philippines. Like what telephone? Yeah, here we have telephone wires like out in like the more rural areas. So, like, in the Philippines, they would connect to the homes, right? Yes. Like, they connected it to the home, yeah. So, were you in the Philippines when the pandemic broke out? No, I was here. No, you were here? Okay. Do you have, like, do siblings, like, still talk to you in the Philippines that, like, kind of can tell you about what it's like there? Yeah, it's really strict there. You cannot go outside because they're gonna find you money. Yeah. So yeah. it's a lot more. Wait, yeah, to go outside, like for example, you're going to the store. So it's a lot more strict in the Philippines than it is here. Yes, and then also the the transportation there, because most people here in the here in the United States ha has a car. But there, when you're going to to go somewhere, like you're gonna have to commute. And it's, the difference is the, the transportation that is so expensive now during the pandemic compared before, like, yeah. Still like close to your family that lives in the Philippines? Yeah, we, we always talk on um, social media. <laughs> yeah. Is like all your family living in the Philippines or did some move like with you? All my family live in the Philippines. 
Do you travel back to see them sometimes? Someday, I would like to. Yeah, like after the pandemic. <laughs> So you said that you were planning on being a nurse. Do you want to be a nurse in Tulsa? Or are you planning on moving anytime? In Tulsa. Like, oh, you like it here? Because I live here. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been living in Tulsa? Like, like I came here in March 2019. Yeah, so it's almost two two years. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a job here now or are you kind of waiting to get through school? I would like to go find a job because I take the CNA, then I passed it. So I would like to work as a CNA soon. Yeah. Hobbies, like going out with a friend. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Because I don't really, like. I have a cat, so my hobbies is to play with the cats, uh, and then go out with the friends. I sometimes I go uh, watch movies, but it's not really my hobby. I just go watch because I have nothing to do. Like when you first moved here, was it like really scary? Were you really nervous? It's really scary <laughs> because uh, like when I first came here, my husband uh, take a day off work. And so we enjoyed together like for uh, like two weeks, for two weeks. And then when it's time to go, when he's time to go back work, like because he works at night, so I was here alone at night, so I was so scared because the window are so like big, like a glass, and like our door is kind of glass in two sides, glass, and there's no curtain. So, so I was so scared because I was like, what, what, what if there's some somebody came here and break the the glass and kill me here inside? I was so scared, and then. And that's the worst thing, but I, I get used to it now. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah I, I'm good. I'm fine now, yeah. So what was the most difficult part about adapting to, like, the U.S. culture? It's not really difficult, but it's a climate. Like, uh, the, like the winter, <laughs> and it's really cold. Uh, I I'm fine with the like the summer because you know I like summer compared to winter because <laughs> I get really really cold. I I don't like to wear like a lot of stuff during the winter. <laughs> so I like I choose the the summer better. Yeah, I bet it does get really cold here compared to the Philippines. Yes, because there's only two climate there, like the wet and dry season. Yeah. Have you ever traveled anywhere besides like the Philippines and then here in Tulsa? Like, but yeah, our, like in still in the United States, we travel. Like we go to Grand Canyon and we go Vegas. But, you know, worst thing happened when we're in Las Vegas, like, like for it, we go there like before the pandemic, like March after my school and TCC, like after the ESL class, we go there. But you know, we go book for in the hotel, hotel, and you know they they kick the people out because they're closing because of the pandemic. So we have to go back here because of the pandemic. So that's the worst thing we did not enjoy like staying there <laughs> yeah has the pandemic affected you personally and any other way what do you mean? 
like has it like made your life different in any other way besides like you can't travel as much and now you're in online classes yeah yeah <laughs> i want to go like 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 <laughs> i want to go like enjoy outside but you know you have to wear a mask yeah <laughs> yeah a little different I think everybody's kind of feeling the same way. They're ready to go outside. So it looks like we're getting really close to the end of our interview. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us? No, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. Haley, do you have any questions? I have just one question. Um, if you were to have known the pandemic were to happen, would you have stayed in the Philippines or would you still have came to Tulsa? Like, like, for example, for example, like the pandemic come like wherever I was, so I choose to stay where I am instead of going where I want. I wanted the Philippines, but. I was here during the pandemic, so I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting us interview you, Shani. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. It was really I nice to meet you too. Yeah.